This is the video review for the Maya Morphin Power Rangers Season 2 Red Dragon Thunder Megazord Zord. And this thing is very, very neat. It's a very big, very large, extremely poseable for a Power Rangers slash Super Sentai figure. And I really like it. I got it in a trade today, and it is about 99% complete, and I am very, very pleased with it. Like, I even have a little Red Ranger on the head, and a little crystal. I think this might be a Zeo crystal, I'm not sure, but I have it. Now, this is going back in the Black Tiger Zord's chest cavity, and yeah, I'll do the same to the Red Ranger. I don't want to lose him. But yeah, this is the... Uh, Red Dragon Thunder Zord, and it is really cool. It's big, it's got lots of detail, and has a lot of posability too. I'll take uh, the little baton thing out for now. For posability, the mouth can open and close, the ears can move, the head can look up and down, way down actually. The neck can bend here, it can rotate here, it can bend up and down here, it can bend up here, uh, basically uh, this, this, up to here, all the way out until you get to this black piece, uh, this part and this part are the same. This black piece right here, the very tip of the tail, can rotate here, here, and here. And yeah, it's just a lot of posability. I really, really like it. And then down here on the legs, uh, both sides are the same. What, what you can do is you, they can rotate like this. They can bend up and down here. They can rotate like this. And then they can move up and down individually. And then they can go forward, actually quite a lot, although that's part of the transformation. And then you can open and close the claws. So this thing, for a Power Ranger figure is loaded with articulation and I really like it. It's one of the things that make this one of the more impressive Zords, well, ever. I'm sure there's some more impressive ones, but this one certainly deserves its place in Power Ranger and Super Sentai history. Now, to transform this thing, unfortunately, this is a part former. What you do is you take the head off, lay it to the side, and then you take the tail off. Now, what's unfortunate about the parts forming is if you lose either of these things, the you, the robot mode just, if you lose this, the robot mode still looks fine, but it doesn't look as good as with this. And if you lose this, you don't have the head at all. And also what's unfortunate about the parts forming is the way this hooks on, you have to wedge it in and sort of bend the plastic. That could conceivably break. And if that ever broke, well, actually the good thing is you could just uh, plug this tail bit to where it will go for the robot mode. Just plug it into here and leave it there. Maybe even glue it in. That wouldn't... That doesn't look optimal in a dragon mode, but it's a way you can keep track of this piece if it ever um, just breaks so it can't attach back here. It's a way you can keep track of it. And, yeah. I just wanted to mention that. So, this piece goes here. And then this piece uh, folds back and to the back. The legs come forward, straighten out, and this piece goes under, and we can stand him up. Now let's look at his arms. The way the arms work is quite simple and very neat. The two legs for the dragon mode come together on each end, and then the arms rotate down. And there you go. Very, very neat. I do. I like how the main body transforms, even with with uh, the parts forming. Though how much this transforms and how different it looks after it transforms is very neat. So the next thing we need to do is we need to take the head bit. It was like this. Then we pulled the head down and opened the mouth. What we're going to do is there's a little uh, C a hole right here. And what's going to happen is this head bit's going to slide in. It's kind of difficult to do because it likes to pop out, but once you get it in, it's in there quite nicely. And that puts the dragon head in the chest and then fold the ears slash horns down. And there you go. This is the red dragon thunder zord in robot mode. And this looks really nice. 
he has a lot of posability too. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't have anything in the head, but the arms are very nice. They go around 360. They uh, go in and out at the shoulder. He has bicep articulation, and he has elbow articulation. Now, unfortunately, the elbow articulation makes him uh, have a, a curling iron arm, which is a pet peeve of mine, but for the age of the figure, I can forgive it. And then he has poseable fingers, which is very nice. And then the legs. The legs aren't as good as the arms, but they can go in and out. Although that does leave it kind of gappy. That's actually one reason why this part's important. The legs can rotate down here, 360. Legs can bend at the knees about that far. And then the feet can go way back and way forward. So yeah, he is a very, very poseable Power Ranger figure. And I am very impressed with this guy. Now, for weapons, he has this staff, which can split apart. I'm not entirely sure why it splits apart, because in messing with this uh, figure and the um, Megazord, the Thunder Megazord, I've never noticed a place for these things to go when separated, so I just leave them together. And what, the way these go into his hand, you have to open the hand and then close the hand around it. And that will give you his weapon. It's a nice little baton staff, and in the show, I believe what he does is he holds it, and then his arm rotates around real fast like this, and it forms like an electric field or something. But yeah, this is the Red Dragon Thunder uh, Zord, and it's really nice. I really like it, and I do recommend it. If you can find it for a decent price, do get it. Just make sure you have this tail piece here, and I would recommend making sure that this uh, baton piece is here. And the headpiece. Make sure the headpiece is there too, though. If the headpiece isn't present, you're probably not going to want to buy it anyway. And yeah. I review Transformers. I review quite a few Power Ranger things at this point. I review Marvel figures, some Men in Black figures, some Brave figures. If you like any of that stuff, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.